it going guys? Do a face here, and welcome back to another Search for the Ultimate Spirit. This one's going to be a bit different, because it's a spirit that you can only summon, and that's all there is to it. A legendary that you can only summon. Now this is one of them, due to him being enhanceable, but I'm not quite going to do that one this episode, or not very recent either, because I'm here for someone else. This character, despite being, like... Just another Kirby Legendary has zero support slots, which usually means that this spirit is going to be insanely powerful. So if that's the case, I, I'm, I'm going to level it up to level 99 and see just how truly powerful the seemingly beast of a character is. But this will mean I sacrifice Shovel Knight, I sacrifice Nightman, and I sacrifice the Meta Knight. So you guys better be happy that I'm doing this. So let's... This is gonna be so sad saying goodbye to Meta Knights, Nightman, and Shovel Knight, but... We're gonna have to do it. Burn the cause to summon a new spirit. So these three... They're going to be gone. So those cores are gonna be used. I'm probably gonna be recollecting those three from Adventure Mode, but... Yep, we just got Galactonite, so... From what I can tell, Galactonite... Oh, he gives Sword Attack Plus... And due to his default damp, like, power of 5,337, I'm incredibly interested to see just how strong this m character can be. So here we do have Galactonite, so let's level him up with a bunch of snacks. It'll cost me spirit points, but oh well. Small ones, down to 250. Bunch of big ones, medium-sized ones. Bunch of biggies. I'm just gonna finish it off with a bunch of big ones. So, that- oh, wow. So you may be thinking that this power is pretty good. So if we go by power descending, so now that we've set it to power descending, if we go up here, we can see that Galactonite rivals, um, by the way, big spoilers for Old of Light here, because he, he rivals, uh, he rivals big storyline dude. He, he rivals a character that's like, really, like, a part of the storyline. So, if you don't want to have spoilers for all the light, click off now. I'm just saying he has, like, really insanely good power. Like, 13,495. Um, okay, so let's... I'll, let's show, I'm showing the spoiler now. So, he has a power of 13,345, which is only a tiny 295 power off of rivaling, rivaling Galim and Darkon themselves. The two literal gods like, god-type things, anyway, that can wipe out a whole universe from World of Light are, are almost completely bested by this absolute monster from Kirby. Not to mention, he gives a sword attack buff, while these guys just give a general buff that's only good for World of Light. Well, with the Galactonite, it actually buffs one of your guys, so... Yeah, Galactonite is an incredibly powerful character. Anyways, this has been Duraface, hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll see you all next time. You can leave now.